welcome to god's word fellowship i'm gerald santiago and we are going to study about hairs of promise hallelujah say that with me hairs of promise you are a hair to the promise of god almighty you are a hair to the blessing that's what we are going to study about in this particular series hallelujah say that with me i'm a hair i'm a hair of god i'm a co-heir with christ jesus i'm a heir to the blessing of abraham hallelujah hallelujah let's pray father we come to you in the name of our lord jesus father we thank you for your great love for us father we thank you for your wonderful marvelous goodness kindness and mercy toward us father we appreciate you we thank you we praise you we worship you and we love you father you are our god our maker our creator our heavenly father father we thank you so much that you have given us the privilege to be your children and to be your heirs and to inherit your blessing and to inherit the inheritance that you have given us through our lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah to jesus and father we wait upon you today hallelujah glory be to god blessed be your holy name father we pray you teach us your word and father we pray you grant us wisdom knowledge understanding and revelation about your inheritance and about being the heirs of god and about being the heirs to the blessing of abraham and father we thank you for your marvelous teaching for us father we pray you open the eyes of our understanding and father we thank you for answers and solutions father we thank you so much for word in due season and father we pray you stretch out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders be done by the name of thy holy child jesus and father we pray that your healing power drive out every form of sickness every form of disease and break every yoke and remove every burden and father we thank you so much for your marvelous help for us father we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers father in the name of our lord jesus we pray amen hallelujah 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 to jesus i'm excited <laughs> we are going to start a new series today hallelujah it it will be a great blessing for you uh, this this subject is something that god has been teaching me for years actually eh? and over a period of time he has been adding to it more and more and more and more and more and as i was um, you know the holy ghost was um, uh ministering to me that i should be teaching this particular topic um, once we finish foundation of uh, i mean faith in god uh, as a part of the foundation series and uh, so this has been in building <laughs> and um, i'm excited to start the series and i encourage you to listen continuously we are, we are going to study the word of god and and we are going to receive revelation from god we are going to receive wisdom from god and it's going to change our life it go, it's going to change it in in a remarkable fashion we are going to be not just readers of the blessing or hearing about the blessing eh? we are going to actually inherit and walk in the blessing experience the blessing hallelujah hallelujah to jesus glory be to god you know uh, we pray i uh, listen to the message prayerfully ask god father i want to experience your blessing i want to walk in your blessing open my eyes give me wisdom show me i i want to be a partaker of the blessing in my life hallelujah hallelujah to jesus pray that and listen prayerfully and god is going to minister awesome things to us Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. All right. Let's go to our text today. Go with me to the book of Galatians. Let's go to chapter 3. We are going to read um I have three different texts in my mind as a part of um you know this message. So let's begin with the verse 13. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Christ has redeemed us 
from the curse of the law underline that word curse of the law that phrase right put a box around it highlight it right uh, write it down if you need right it would be great for you notice there is something called the curse of the law it's very specific thing that paul is talking about here and the bible says christ has redeemed us from from it hallelujah how did he do it being made a curse for us imagine that the king of kings the lord of lords the god almighty the blessed one the one whom angels and all the all the saints in heaven are praising and worshiping constantly right he became a curse can you imagine that god almighty becoming a curse for us for you for me why why what was the purpose of such an action by our lord jesus why did he do that why would he humble himself to become a curse for our sake what was the purpose behind it what was the reasoning behind that what is it that jesus wanted to give us by doing so now that's something we have to understand see we we have to look to the cross not just in terms of some kind of a, a sympathy for christ you know many times we look to the cross like we should and and we look to what jesus did there and most often it it's more with an idea of of a feeling sympathy for what jesus did right many of our uh, easter uh, meditations and good friday meditations are done with with an attitude of you know some kind of a sympathy towards what jesus went through on the cross and on his sufferings no no but, but see the cross was the plan of god jesus went there on purpose willingly because he wanted to do something he wanted to accomplish something he wanted to bring about the redemption of mankind not only in terms of redeeming us from sin and saving us from hell that that's that that's very important that that's a primary thing you know right god wanted to redeem all of mankind from sin and from the devil and from hell right but not that alone he did some more things right he also bore our sicknesses and diseases on the cross he also redeemed us from the curse so that the blessing can come upon us why did the king of kings the blessed one humble himself to become a curse on the cross the bible gives us the reason verse 14 that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through jesus christ this is why jesus became a curse for our sake this is why jesus redeemed us from the curse why so that we can have and experience the blessing of abraham hallelujah hallelujah to jesus see he didn't need to do this you know to to redeem us from sin he was wounded for our transgressions bruised for our iniquities he already shed the blood see but he went further he had more in redemption the redemption plan includes all that god had given to man even b- before the fall see god when he made man what was the very first thing he did he blessed adam he blessed adam say that with me he blessed adam He said be fruitful multiply fill the earth subdue it and have dominion See that's what God gave man and Jesus not only wanted to redeem us from the fall See when we say fall what did we fall from we fell from that we fell from the blessing we fell from the glory Hallelujah Hallelujah God had crowned us with glory and honor Psalm 8 teaches us that and god had put the blessing upon us see that's what we fell from do you understand this we were children of god we fell from that hallelujah so you should know these things hallelujah now the blessing of abraham 
see god considered this a very important thing right you will see how important as we study this um, uh, as as we study this uh, topic right christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles who are the gentiles you and me see in the eyes of god the world is divided into three kind of people say that with me the world is divided into three kind of people in the eyes of god the jews the first covenant people who are still uh, under the first covenant many of them who have not received jesus as their savior yet they are still under the covenant right but they do have a covenant they are covenant people right so the jews that's one group of people the other one is the church the church is the second covenant people we who have made jesus the lord of our life and we through jesus and through the blood of jesus have entered into a covenant with almighty god so we are the new covenant people or the second covenant people and then there is the gentile world people who don't have any covenant with god right you understand this so there are three groups of people the jews the first covenant people the church born again christians the second covenant people and then the gentiles who don't know god who don't have a covenant with god so in god's eyes there are three groups of people on this planet hallelujah now you and i before we uh, received jesus as our lord we were gentiles right we were called gentiles because we didn't know god we didn't have a covenant with god but the moment we made jesus the lord of our life we entered into a covenant with god almighty through the blood of jesus and as a result we became partakers of the blessing of abraham hallelujah hallelujah to jesus all right i have started teaching already let's go to the second text same chapter go with me to J- galatians chapter 3 verse 26 for you are all the children of god by faith in christ jesus right the moment we put our faith in our lord jesus christ we became the children of god right uh, john uh, john's gospel go with me there chapter 1 let's read verse 12 but as many as received him as many as received jesus to them he gave power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name now we believe in the name of our lord jesus and therefore we are sons of god we are children of god hallelujah hallelujah to jesus that's what galatians is talking about so galatians chapter 3 again verse 26 for you are all the children of god by faith in christ jesus for as many of you as have been baptized into christ have put on christ now this is not talking about the water baptism right this is talking about the holy ghost the moment you believed jesus the holy ghost took you and baptized you into christ jesus that's what this is talking about so once you were baptized immersed into christ jesus you have put on christ verse 28 there is neither jew nor greek see once you have become a christian and you have put on christ right there is neither jew nor greek no distinction there is neither bond nor free right there is no distinction bond meaning slaves right and free meaning people who were not slaves right there is no distinction you could be a slave you may not be a slave okay right? no distinction you could be a jew or you may be a gentile no distinction or a greek right no gen- greek is a representation of the gentile world right no distinction at all there is neither male nor female man or woman no distinction again for you are all say this with me one in christ jesus one in christ jesus and if you be christ's if you belong to christ jesus then you are abraham's seed and heir according to the promise 
according to the promise say that with me i am a hair according to the promise i am a hair i am a hair to the promise what promise the blessing of abraham that's what we looked at in verse 14 why did christ become a curse become a curse on the cross why why did christ redeem us from the curse that the blessing of abraham might come upon the gentiles through christ jesus let me read this from other translations some uh, uh, modern contemporary translations i'm going to read from uh, the passion translation first and if you belong to christ then you are now abraham's child and a true heir of all his blessings say this with me a true heir of all his blessings a true heir right there are heirs and there are true heirs we are going to study the difference between them <laughs> and hallelujah say a true heir of all his blessings because of the promise god made to abraham hallelujah hallelujah to jesus now verse 20 uh, let me read the same verse verse 29 from the new living translation now that you belong to christ you are the true children of abraham you are his heirs and god's promise to abraham belongs to you say god's promise to abraham belongs to me one more time god's promise to abraham belongs to me god's promise to abraham belongs to me think about this god's promise god's blessing to abraham belongs to you and me hallelujah hallelujah to jesus now we want to think about this see in in order to understand these things you have to go to the old testament right <laughs> you have to go to the uh, old testament in order to understand what was it that god promised abraham what does it mean to be a heir to that blessing right were their heirs to the blessing of abraham before this there were and by looking at them we can learn what it means to be a heir to the blessing hallelujah hallelujah to jesus right you you can understand what what does it mean to be a heir what does it mean hallelujah um i want to go to another passage let me give you the reference probably we'll get into it tomorrow and i want to talk about a few other things before we proceed um take time to study hebrews chapter 6 verse 11 till the end of the chapter i think verse 21 right till the very end of the chapter right read this passage over and over again meditate on it ask god to teach you very important passage and we will be studying that passage as well and uh, let me quickly go there and read one particular verse and point out to this po- uh, this particular phrase hairs of promise hallelujah if we go to chapter 6 it talks about how god swore to abraham the blessing right if you read verse 13 it says for when god made promise to abraham notice the word promise promise to abraham that means you are this is what you are heir to right so you should be very interested in that for when god made promise to abraham because he could swear by no greater he swore by himself saying surely underline that surely say that often surely in tamil they say nichayamagave <laughs> right it means definitely man certainly right? surely blessing i will bless thee multiplying i will multiply thee so god not only promised the blessing he also swore it hallelujah hallelujah to jesus so keep that thought in mind and if you go down to verse um, 17 wherein god willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise which is you and me the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath see god wanted to show the heirs of promise which is you and me when i when i read this verse i read it like this wherein god willing more abundantly to show me the heir of promise the immutability that word immutability means unchangeableness 
See, this is blessing and multiplication is God's unchangeable counsel for you. It will never change. This is what God desires for you. And you can see this in the Bible. What did God do when God made Abraham, I mean Adam? He blessed him. What did God do when after the judgment during the time of Noah? What did God do uh, with Noah and his family? He blessed him again. Go and read chapter 9. So what did God do when God wanted to begin a new nation? Right? And through uh, Abraham, God wanted to bring Jesus into the world. And through Jesus, he wanted to bring the whole world into his family. How? What did he do? He blessed him. See, blessing is the instrument to bring all to God. See, that's what many people don't understand. <laughs> blessing is God's power for you to bring the whole world to God. It's God's enablement. You will see as we study this, you, you will see this more and more clearly. Right? God blessed Abraham, gave him mighty blessing. Study that Hebrew, I mean Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3. What did God do with the nation of Israel? What did he do? He blessed them. What did Jesus do before he was taken up to heaven? Now people don't understand these verses. You know, they, they look at these verses and they, they, they just move ahead because they are not familiar with the Old Testament. So they just move on without realizing what exactly happened here. Notice uh, Luke chapter 24 verse 50. And he led them out as far as to Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. What did he do? Blessed them. What do you think he blessed? What do you think he said? Hmm? Be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it. And have dominion. You know, that's the blessing God spoke over Adam. And that's what Jesus spoke over them. I, want, I will show you how it is. How do we know that? Because what happened to the disciples after this? Right? They were fruitful. They multiplied. They increased. They did not remain 120 people. Right? Within a matter of a day, they became 3,000 people. And then in another service, 5,000 were added to them. And then later, the Lord kept adding people to them daily. And then they moved on. They filled up Jerusalem. So they moved on to Samaria. And then they moved on into, you know, Antioch and other places <laughs> and into the Gentile world. Hallelujah. They were fruitful. They multiplied. And today they have filled the earth. Hallelujah. And subdue. What does subdue mean? Anything, any opposition that comes against you, comes against the preaching of the gospel, comes against the preaching of Jesus, comes against the kingdom of God. You subdue it. You subdue it. And you can see time after time as persecution came against the church, the church subdued it and have dominion. Dominion what? Dominion over the devil and all his works. Hallelujah. You can see the same blessing, same blessing that was upon Adam has been put upon the church today. Hallelujah. And we are heirs to that blessing. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. I want you to say this out loud every day. Right? When you get up in the morning, don't get up saying, Oh boy, I don't know how this is going to be. I don't know what I'm going to do today. Hope this goes on fine. Hope everything is good today. Now instead say this, I belong to Jesus Christ. I am a seed of Abraham. I am a heir to the promise of of. Abraham the blessing of Abraham belongs to me I say this Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law that the blessing of Abraham might come on me through Jesus Christ I am I belong to Jesus Christ I am a seed of Abraham the blessing of Abraham belongs to me say this every single day when you get up in the morning, say this. Right? Say this many times through the day. Right? And as we study this uh, uh, series, as we, as we study this topic, say the, combine these two verses and keep speaking them over and over and over again in your life. Repeatedly. 
right shall we do this one more time say this with me christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law the blessing of abraham belongs to me through my lord jesus christ i belong to jesus christ i am a seed of abraham the blessing of abraham belongs to me one more time christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law the blessing of abraham belongs to me through my lord jesus christ i belong to christ jesus i am a seed of abraham the blessing of abraham belongs to me hallelujah hallelujah to jesus say this over and over and over again we are going to go deep into this we are going to study this and you are going to see marvelous things and you are going to become a partaker not just a hearer about the blessing not just a reader of the blessing <laughs> now you are going to become a partaker of the blessing hallelujah hallelujah to jesus thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon